previously on Norage's Nook, I showed you guys how I used this Dollar Tree photo frames to create this simple yet elegant wall decor, which you can use to accentuate your room, office, living room, you name it. So if you haven't checked out this video yet, please make sure to check it out right after this video. Okay, so for today's video, let's get to it. Sure real. <laughs> Hello and welcome back again to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Nara G and today I will be making some expensive looking home decor using cardboard. But first, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family. And for my returning subscribers, I love you all. Alright, so we're gonna get right into it without much ado. So I will have the supply list for every item I am currently using in the description box of this video. Alright, so let's get right into it. I am cutting out my catbot which is the main component of this DIY for today. So uh, these two, basically the height will be one foot each. However, I'm gonna have one taller than the other. Okay, so just watch as I do this. So this DIY or cardboard DIY is basically a budget friendly take on Wayfair's accent vases, okay, our accent um, decor. So I am basically doing a budget friendly version using recycled material, in this case cardboard. So I have purchased some items from Amazon and I have a whole lot of cardboard boxes laying around and while I was disposing of some of them, I did see that some of the boxes looked pretty good and just thought why not try doing something again with cardboard. Uh, if you've been on this channel long enough, you would have noticed that I'm used to doing a lot of cardboard DIYs so I thought to try something else this time around besides doing sculpture or wall art and this time we're actually creating accent vases I have actually created a vase from scratch using cardboard so you can check that out uh, on my channel I'll have the link in the description box below as well if you would like to see that um, meanwhile for today's video we're taking a whole different turn it is not a very large vase but also a decorative one okay so stick with me <laughs> So as you can see, these are hollow vases that I am trying to create or recreate and I measured two inches for the sides before cutting out the middle. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my template to cut out the second vase. Just watch as I complete this. So if you're looking to recreating this, it's up to you the size you want. For me, I was just going with my own discretion and measuring things as I deem fit. So there is no particular rule book for this, all right? So it's just you being creative and getting creative. So just do you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead using my hot glue to create the frames, just like I usually would do with my marquee numbers and letters. If you've been following that that DIY series, uh, it is very similar to what I will be doing here, except this is pretty small, and I will be cutting out 1.5 inches to make the sides of my um, my vases. All right, so just watch as I complete this. Okay, so now that I have all the sides prepped, I will go ahead to glue them down on there starting from the center. Again, the same rule from the marquee letter and number videos applies here. You want to work your way, um, work from inside out. Okay, it's just easy and it's just basic common sense, I guess. Okay, so this will basically be the second part of this DIY. The first part was basically cutting out the frame for our vase. The second part, which is what we're currently doing, is basically filling out the frame. Okay, so I'll go ahead to do the same for the second one as well. So my recommendation is to cut out two of this 
so you use one to cover the other once you have the frame that or the sides set up it is way easier and way faster a good alternative or substitute for catboard would be foam boards that you can actually use for this same DIY okay um, however I already had catboard at home I didn't have to buy any more foam boards so this DIY basically cost me less than ten dollars which would be the sparkling that I had to buy basically and that would be about it okay on to the next step of our DIY this is sparkling paste which I got from Home Depot this is actually under $10 guys it is pink but it dries um, becomes white it dries white this is basically used for construction okay it's used to repair um, uh, drywall and all of that so we're using it for DIY today <laughs> a substitute for this would be joint compound which I'll be using in another DIY coming up on the channel so in other news we are almost at 60k guys wow 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 thank you all so much so so much the family is growing guys i really do appreciate you all and if you're new here there is a tradition in origins nook which is basically a keyword in every video okay so that brings us to that point for today and today's keyword is accent vases so please if you've watched right up to this point do comment accent vases in the comment section and show your girls some love sparkling is a little bit more thicker than joint compound and also i wanted to get some kind of a textured fuzz that is why i decided to go with this one next i'll be using this fork to actually create some kind of a pattern or basically make the vase look distressed somehow all right so that is my take on this you can do whatever you want if you do try to recreate this diy or if you want to do the same thing go for it One thing here is if you're going to be using sparkling paste, you want to be very quick in doing this because this thing dries up pretty quick, okay? Even though um, after doing this, I had to set it aside for 24 hours for it to actually dry properly. But if you want to get some kind of a texture um, design on it, you may want to do that really quickly before it starts drying off, okay? So just watch a second clip this. Okay, so please do stick with me to the end of this video to see the final outcome of this DIY because I can't wait to show you all. I know, I know, I know. Just trust the process, okay? <laughs> I have quite a number of cardboard boxes DIYs um, planned on the channel so I would love it if you can let me know in the comments section if this is your jam, if this is something that you're quite interested in or if you'd love to see more from me and uh, I will be at your service, okay? Because I'm actually looking into doing a lot more recycled DIYs or DIYs with recycled items or materials, okay? So these are the vases. I'm going to keep them aside to dry. As you can see, it's turning white. As it dries um, more and more, it becomes white. Now, as you can see, it's all white because it's completely dry now. Uh, what I did is I used my hot glue gun to actually um, fix the tip because it was quite hard actually applying uh, a sparkling paste to the tip because that was where I basically would put my hand to actually apply over the vases. So I used hot glue to actually fix that area. And this is what it looks like without any paint. For my non-glam neutral decor lovers, I'll be using white spray paint to paint over this and uh, this will fit in into any boho decor, you name it, neutral tone kind of decor, okay? So this is what it looks like with white paint. And uh, for my glamazonians, for my glam decor lovers, uh, I'm going to spray paint this gold and tada, this is what it looks like. Do let me know in the comment section which one you prefer the most gold or white okay so we're not done yet so this is our final step i'm basically going to be using this felt fabric which i got from dollar tree underneath our vases just to give it some you know you know professional touch kind of 
all right so i didn't just want it to be bare underneath like just plain cardboard so i will be using this felt fabric in black to give it that added touch just watch as i complete this One thing to note here is that it's per all personal preference for me spray painting this gold like I always say in my videos. If you're trying this out, it's up to you to spray paint it whatever color you want. Keep it white, gold, silver, black, you name it. That is all your prerogative, okay? So now back to our DIY, just look at that. This instantly makes this look quite elevated from what it was okay it is very soft feels very professional and if you were not told that this was made out of cardboard trust me if you look at this physically you would not even guess so okay so I was very pleased with how this turned out and now this is our final look I really love the outcome and I would love to know your thoughts on these guys and which you prefer white or gold for those of you who are minimalist boho decor lovers or non-glam lovers I, I believe that you would like it white and for my glamazonians as I like to call them my glam <laughs> glam lovers or glam decor lovers I'm pretty sure you will love the gold and you could also have this chrome silver black you name it I just love how this turned out guys and I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section. And so that would be it for me making high-end decor out of cardboard boxes today. So if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you can hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. Each time I upload a new video like this one, you will be the first to know. In the meantime, Always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.